In this video, we are going to solve quadratic equation by completing the square. This is another method in getting the values of x in a quadratic equation. So completing the square, the first step in solving quadratic equation by completing the square it to, is to transform the given quadratic equation wherein the constant term is on the right side and the quadratic term and linear term is on the left side. So, dapat maging ax squared plus bx equals to c. So, for this given, we have to transfer or make sure that negative 15 is on the right side. For us to be able to do that, since this is negative 15, we just add 15 to both sides. So, this will become 0. So, what's left here is x squared minus 2x equals to 15. After that, we need to identify our b. Our b here is negative 2. And then, you get the value of the square of b over 2. So, negative 2 is our b divided by 2. And then we just have to square it. So you square the numerator and then square the denominator. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And this will give us 1. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to use that. We have to add 1 to both sides. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals to 15 plus 1. So this becomes a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so the factor of this, this becomes x minus 1 squared is equals to 16. Now, you can use extracting the square root so, you just get the square root of both sides. This becomes x minus 1. Square root of 16 is positive and negative 4. And then we make two equations. There will be two equations. The first one will be x minus 1 equals to positive 4. And then the other one is x minus 1 equals to negative 4. Oh, yan. Madali na lang yan. So, we just have to isolate x or dapat si x na lang matitira sa kabila. So, dito, for the first equation, we have to remove negative 1. To remove that, we add 1 to both sides. So, this becomes 0 x is equals to 4 plus 1 is 5. And then for the other equation, second equation, we just have to add 1 to both sides also. Okay, so this becomes 0. x, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So the two values of x is 5 and negative 3. So let us check if our answers are correct. So you simply plug in the values of x to the original equation. Let us first check x is equal to 5. So let's substitute 5 to the x's. So this becomes 5 squared minus 2 times 5 minus 15 equals to 0. 5 squared is 25. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 minus 15 equals to 0. 25 minus 10 is 15, minus 15 equals to 0, 15 minus 15 is 0, equals to 0. So they are equal, therefore x is equals to 5, x equals to 5 is correct. Now let us check if x equals to negative 3 is also a solution of x squared minus 2x minus 15. So again, just plug in the values of x. So substitute negative 3 squared minus 2 
times negative 3 minus 15. Wait. So again, we plug in the values. Negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 minus 15 equals to 0. Negative 3 squared is 9. Negative 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 15 equals to 0. 9 minus 6. Sorry, this becomes positive. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. 9 plus 6 is 15 minus 15 equals to 0. 15 minus 15 is 0 equals to 0. Therefore, x equals to negative 3 is also a solution of x squared minus 2x minus 15. Okay, example number 2. We have 2x squared minus 3x minus 11 equals to 0. So notice that the given quadratic equation, a is not equal to 1. So in completing the square, um, the a should be equal to 1. So for us to be able to do that, 2 must be eliminated. So we divide all the terms by 2. Therefore, what we have left is x squared. And then this becomes negative 3 over 2x minus 11 over 2 equals to 0. And then we now proceed to the next set step wherein we move the constant term to the right side. So if you move the constant term to the right side, the equation will be x squared minus 3 over 2x equals to positive 11 over 2. After this, as you get the b, our b is equals to negative 3 over 2. And then you get the square of the half of b, so negative 3 over 2 half squared. The answer will be 9 over 16. Okay? So we add the 9 over 16 to both sides. x squared minus 3 over 2x plus 9 over 16 equals to 11 over 2 plus 9 over 16. Okay. And then after you add 9 over 16 to both sides, you get the perfect square binomial of the left side. So the perfect square binomial is x minus 3 over 4 squared. Okay, so the technique there is simple. You just get the square root of 9 and square root of 16 and then that's the answer to this. C equals 2. Now, fraction. If you add 11 over 2 plus 9 over 16, the answer is 97 over 16. Okay, next step is to get the square root of both sides. So the square root of x minus 3 fourth squared is equals to x minus 3 over 4. Now, when square, uh, getting the square root of a fraction, you, ha get, you have to get the square root of the numerator and the square root of the denominator. So, 97 is not a perfect square. So, we'll have that as square root of 97. And then, square root of 16 is positive and negative 4. Now, we'll have two equations. First one is the x minus 3 over 4 or simply x minus 3 over 4 equals to 
positive square root of 97 over 4. And then the other equation will be x minus 3 over 4 equals to the square root of 97 over negative 4. So the Again, we have to isolate x, so we have to move negative 3 over 4 to the right. So you just add 3 over 4, 3 fourths, and then plus 3 fourths. So you will get x is equals to, since they have the same denominator, this becomes 3 plus square root of 97 over 4 and on this equation again you just add 3 over 4 equals to i uh, sorry and then add 3 over 4 again so you'll get x is equals to 3 minus square root of 97 over so there you go. These are the two answers. So I hope this will help you in answering your um, uh, learning test in your module for week number one. Thank you very much for listening.